Hi, in this video today I want to show you how to use Repeater to create a list in Azure. Okay, so for example we are going to create a new listings in our system and we have 10, 10 items in our system. So indeed I'm going ahead to create 10 items in Azure so we can create one item and then we can duplicate it to 10 items by using your repeater. Okay, so now let's start it. I'm op open the Azure project I'm working on. So now I'm going ahead to create a new landing page. New landing. Okay. Double click on this, this one to open the page. Okay. So here I will create the pet title I will use the heading 1 I will change the text here e news listing okay so now I will search in the tune e to repeater repeater it is in default command. <coughs> okay, you double click on this one, and here in the state, in the repeater by default, it have a rectangle in blank. So now I will delete this one. Okay, because we are going to create a news listing here, so the news will have the image, the thumbnail image, and we have a heading and the, the uh, summary or short description of the news. Okay, here I will use the image. Okay, underneath of image, we have a news title. So the new title, and I will use the heading 3. Okay. And underneath of the heading 3, we have a paragraph. This paragraph will be used to to description, the short description of the news. Okay, so here I can adjust the padding. For the heading, I will change the text here. E. This is the news title. Okay, something like that. <coughs> okay. And here, I will close this one. Yeah. Okay. And you click on the repeater. And here, you take a look into the style on the right hand. And list of the data session, we have a column, column zero. Yeah, by default it it have three item. Yeah, so here we it have three item. So when you take a look into the repeater, it have three item here. Yeah, okay. And you scroll down. It have some the padding, the border, the padding, spacing, and the layout. I will change the layout first. By default, it will be shutting by vertical. And I will change it in horizontal. Okay. You can also graph it in grid. Okay, I select this one. And here, you can select how many items will be displaying on the, on, 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 per row. Okay. So here, by default, it select five items. And I go ahead to select three item on per row okay I will run it okay before we run I will save it first and I click on the preview button here to view it <coughs> yeah you see here we have a new listing it have three item okay cool 
So here I went back to Azure and I do some modification for styling. Okay. Spadding top top left. Okay. I will select the spacing in row in column. I will have 50. Okay. The row will be 20. Button top, button left, bottom, bottom, 15, no, no, 25, okay. And in the item back, you can also change the background of the of each item here. Okay, I will check on the alternative color. Okay, the color will be the item 1, and alternative will be item 2 here. Select the color. I will change the background for the item one is. It will be in the orange. Okay. And alternative. This will be in the gray. Okay. I will save it and run it again. Yeah. It look better. And by default, it have only three item. So, if I want to increase or add more item, show how to do it. Okay. So here, you take a look into the data section. It has the column number zero. By default, it have three items. So now I'm going ahead to add new some item here. Okay. I want to add the item number four, five, six, okay, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <coughs> okay, so after you add new item in the column here, it will automatically duplicate the existing item in the list. Okay. So now, indeed, a curious some item here. You 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 don't go ahead to add some item in the data here. Okay. Good. So now run it again. I refresh this one. Yeah, it have ten item on this page. Okay. So indeed, I'm going ahead to curious some item by manually when you are using the repeater. It will save the time for you when you are when you want to create the map up for uh, multiple item on a page. Okay. So I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to use the repeater to create multiple item on the landing page for the prototype. Okay. I hope this video will have fun for you. Let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and see you later.